always report on lost dogs, but when we do, the search for the four-legged family friend comes up with quite a bit more. And as Josh Berry found out in Hot Springs, it brings two families' stories together as hope for each of them began to fade. So most recent ones that we had. For Brian Carpenter, a picture is worth more than words. The professional pit boss and part-time picture taker. I consider myself an amateur photographer. Likes to document he and his father's work smoking meats on the pro tour. But in December, that stopped when someone stole his truck from his house in Royal. It had the camera in it. And while whoever drove off wrecked it just down the street, the camera was gone. The camera's a monetary value. It's, it can be replaced, but the pictures on side that camera. Inevitably, the camera tended to find family. For a while, it turned to dad and his mom. They were married 39 years. Until she got cancer and passed away in 2015. The camera had the only copies of some of the last shots of her. And you just can't get those back. He put a reward out, but months passed without hearing a thing. There were people out in the nearby woods searching but not for his camera. We knew that he didn't necessarily have the skills to be out and be roaming. It was scary. Leanne Zaner's dog, Leo, disappeared February 13th. People really took to his story. It spread across social media, and he had search parties scouring the woods. But it was an uphill battle with no luck. We'd get out there and search for hours and hours, and we wouldn't be able to locate him. About the time they lost all hope for Leo, Jack Bailey, a friend, made the discovery on Sunday. It was kind of half under the leaves and stuff, and we pulled it up, and we were surprised what we found in it. A soaking wet camera bag that looked like it had been there for three months. The camera inside, though, was dry. Yeah, it was still powered up. You know, I was like, really? Jack tried going through the pictures to see if he could figure out who the camera belonged to. He wouldn't have been able to if it hadn't have been for a picture of the Royal Smokers barbecue trailer. He Google searches and found us online and sent me a message. He calls me up and he, he describes it and I, I, re I immediately knew it was his. Brian got the camera, but more importantly, the SD card inside back. Because it just means the world to our family to have those pictures returned. That was uh, helpful to us knowing that positive things were coming from the negative situation us and our, our Leo were in. But they the think it was supposed to happen that way. Like one or two because three just days it. after Brian got his camera back, <laughs> Leo was found. <laughs> he was spotted in the very same woods. <laughs> Leanne went and got him on Wednesday. If everything happens for a reason, it's left each family with a picture-perfect ending. In Royal, I'm Josh Berry. And, uh, and here he is. That's unbelievable. Absolutely. You Leo, can't make these stories up. No. These are great stories. Leo lost 30% of his body weight, but was immediately cared for at the Temperance Animal Hospital in Hot Springs. And Leo's parents, who happen to be Hot Springs police officers, you might have recognized the name, say this shows the power of the community where they live. And it is a good one. There you go. It all comes together in the end. The Arkansas Men's